Alright, hello guys, welcome to another episode. Today let's talk about the Bitcoin and today I'm gonna review the Bitcoin really really deeply on smaller time frame, higher time frame, what's going on in the market and I'll give you the clear signals, enters and exits from the markets from where we want to trade and I think it's the best time to trade the Bitcoin right now on the smaller time frame as well. So basically I will mention more smaller time frame today. So and of course we will review the higher time frame as well, what is going on uh, basically. So end of this video you will have a clear understanding on the all time frames in uh, about the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency what is going on and you will have all moral rights to do some good decisions after this video but it's really important that you watch this video till the end so uh, before beginning I want to say that in trading I'm using a complex approach a minimum of four or five conditions should to match before I enter in trade and this is also very important one more thing is important that if you are trading and doing some uh, and learning the trading and if you are beginning I highly suggest you to subscribe to this channel and pre and enter my telegram club because it's all for free for now and in future i'm gonna make it paid so link in the description below you're welcome to join in so let's go and let's let's review the bitcoin uh, i want to first of all mention about that in previous videos my macd has some troubles i mean i didn't see what is going on on the market actually in uh, true information was that wasn't that so i made an analysis and some some stuff actually is, uh, I mean, still the same, just a little bit some corrections um, into finding the waves. So basically, what can we see here? We are seeing some really, really deep corrections on a higher time frame. I would say that still this is correction. I mean, basically what I see here is that this movement here is a really really very correctional move and this movement is very impulsive move. So basically I can, I can say that this is something like, uh, where is that? like something like this a b and c something like this is looks like really really uh, harmonious in this picture because uh, we cannot ignore that this movement is uh, typically I mean looks like really impulse and this impulse is not started from the beginning and it's also important because if we are forming some kind of way one right two and three I want to see impulsive structures here but uh, as you can see this is like very very far away from some kind of impulsive structures right and impulsive uh, waves and I cannot break down it on a smaller time frame so basically this is not the impulse at all so uh what is going on first of all i still expect some downtrend because there is the massive massive liquidations over here because people got super bullish over here everybody like people even my community who who is like who is the trading the gamblers are getting like crazy about that and everyone say that yeah you are wrong and this is new impulse and let's start it start to uh, bull run and some stuff basically first of all what i want to mention i don't say that the bull market is impossible i mean i'm doing the technical analysis and i'm giving the probability i'm trading the probability if it will happen or will not happen it's all your risks if you are doing some crazy risk management and you are like trading 20 and 50 percent from your deposit like um, I think you need to look at your mirror and talk with yourself and not with me and with the market. So basically what can I see here? It's something like this looks like this is uh, one, two and three. Still, I sti still think that this is the second wave. Let me take this tool because like this one, two and three. Yeah, I, I see that crazy here is going on that uh so really really deep correction but still if you would take a fibonacci's right we can see that we are not touching this zero levels yet we are on the point sevens right so i mean um, basically there is no other i mean i know sometimes it's crossing some some stuff and point seven is not uh, really really often happening but I can see, I mean, I'm not trading only Fibonacci, I'm not trading only the some levels, I, I do it in a complex, so this is why for me is important some other conditions, and when we, when I see such a picture as I, as I can see here, I mean, I don't need to know a lot, because uh, this is really, really bearish, and looks like really bearish, because uh, this slow movement and voluming decreasing, and yes, these mo movements over here happen, but on the higher time frame, as you can see, I mean, there's nothing changed yet, and still there is like bearish divergence the price the volumes are decreasing price is rising no volumes like significant some crazy volumes and we are hitting such a such important levels right what this means it means there's no volumes at all so uh what i want to mention right now i want to talk about the higher time frame a little bit and especially i want to talk about this impulse which one happens here because we're going to trade 
this impulse because I have all moral rights here to say that this is impulse and yes I know this is manipulation looks like and blah 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 but uh, what I want to say that first things happening on the market and after some news came out so some uh, I mean people are finding the reason why the price is uh, rising or something like that so basically yeah this is manipulation by some kind of whale but I cannot say because of why or something like that so I have a here volumes I have some kind of impulse so uh, I would say that this is um, more looks like this. First of all, here is the wave one, two. This is third wave right now we are. After will be fourth wave and wave five. Like something such kind of I'm expecting and I'm also expecting this fifth wave won't happen. I don't know yet, let's see. But uh, this wave three, uh, let me try to, right now let's start to break down how it looks like and why I think that this is wave three. Uh, let's do like this, yep. And as you can see, uh, wave three here, uh, basically before, why is the MACD, what happened with my MACD? I said that wave three happened here, this is wave four, and this is wave five, right? But uh, here doesn't match to one thing. Let me turn on the four hour time frame. And this MACD stuff looks like really bullish here because uh, usually on the fifth wave, you can see that divergence between uh, MACDs and the price, that the price hitting all time highs, right? And the columns are less than than this one so basically it forms such kind of thing but we can see that here is the omega this is usually harmoniously uh, going higher so what can I say uh, because of this Magdi? I can say that we are still in a wave 3 like su something such kind of right here wave 3 and we are uh, looking for uh, finishing of wave 3 I don't know where it's gonna finish this wave 3 but I'm sure that we are still in wave 3 because this is impulse in the most splash of volumes yes of course volumes are already de decreasing over here you can see that here is the last volumes and in the third I mean in the main impulse but it still confirms that uh, because wave 3 is impulsive wave and inside of the impulsive waves also have a, a 5 impulsive wave structure so if you're gonna take a let me let me do it and show you because wave three also has uh, five impulsive waves inside so uh, we can do like this we take uh, waves here's the wave one two this is three four and five like something such kind of and this is fifth wave over here right possibly and it will be end of the wave uh, three so it will be really harmoniously that here's the wave one here's the wave two for example and three has five impulsive sub waves inside and after we are ready to do some correction or it's gonna be correction or the structure we will uh, will broke uh, what does it mean this structure is broke because yeah by waves uh, harmoniously should to finish five impulsive waves so it means one two three four and five right but it's often happening that we are breaking the wave five and it's not touching the wave five and around wave four we touch these levels we start to accumulate here and price will fall because wave five can not at all happens right and you can see exactly these things happen happens over here that a lot of people get turned bullish and I also was bullish because uh, I mean I didn't trade that because I knew that this is wave 5 but here exactly happened the same thing here's wave 1 2 here happened 3 this is wave 4 touch it on levels uh, give us all signals right volumes are decreasing and this is uh, must be the wave 5 which one didn't happen right and because higher time frame won right because on the higher time frame this wave uh, this five impulsive wave structure finished right because this is wave five and it touched its own level so basically we had no more rights to say that it will fall so this is why i was predicting that uh, correctly right now what is going on on the smaller time frame uh, on my telegram club i gave the signals over here that i opened the two conditional trigger so if the price will reach 30,600, i will short the market if the price will hit 29,400, i will long the market this is really really easy to get uh, I will show you how I did analyze this market because right now everything's by waves goes I mean on the smaller time frame on 12 minutes time frames you cannot see any wave right now right so but you can see one thing that this is some kind of fifth wave like I can see five impulsive structure here we one two and this is three here three four and five something such kind of right but uh, usually what is going on uh, we are seeing that uh, we are forming some kind of flat here here we are from these levels you can short uh, from he, these levels you can long the market and from these levels you can short the market 
I mean, I would say even from these levels will be more correct from these levels because this is previous high on a buy beat. So, I mean, I would say like this is much more better. Let's make market as a red one. Uh, text and red one. This one, yeah. So we can make it. This is a short area. Short area. Right? And uh, this one is more long. Long area. And just give a probability. I mean, this that's the thing we are seeing clearly that here forming some kind of flat, right? Some 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 flat, and we are seeing one more thing that uh, longs is doing really well, right? But as you can see over here, here is a lot of stop losses. There is all of them are stop losses. Everything should to take. I think it will be really massive candle down, like in one second. I think I, there will be like slow downtrend. We will fall to twenty five thousand dollar like like a stone. I think, but uh, we need to take those uh, those stop losses as well because on the previous on the buy bit, I'm sure that on the 30,700 a lot of people like shorted the market uh, and I mean a lot of people lost this movement so they start to short the market from these levels right so I would say that we will wash out these stop, stop losses and after we will fall the most likely the scenario will looks like this but on the smaller time frame I would say like uh, every time when you do such a thing just look at this mark from these levels you want to short the market right and from this Oh, yeah. from this area yeah, let me do like this so from this area you want to short the market and from this area you want to long the market right in the middle you don't want to have any business right so this is why I make a, a conditional trigger orders right if it will go it automatically will open for me the, the some shorts and longs because here we can see clearly that right now we will wash out first of all though there have been some movements right again everyone turn bullish here right and First of all, bearish, we wash out. After here, get everyone bullish, we wash out. Well, now again, we start to accumulate and most likely we will, we will wash out both of these directions. So basically the best trades right now, uh, when happens such, such a kind of accumulation, happens such kind of thing. I mean, washing all of these so longs and shorts. So this is why you can see such kind of movements here. So this is what I'm expecting on a Bitcoin. And if you look at the previous section as well, every movement, every movement on the higher time frame, even on the daily time frame over here, you can see again, we had some kind of impulse, right? Impulse. And here again, here is the highs. Here was the lows. So again, we are raging from this, uh, this area. So Basically, every time when it hits here, it was a good time to short the market again, take a profits here somewhere as it touched the zero ground because here a lot of stop losses. Again, the stop losses wash out. Here was the best opportunity to open the short uh, along the positions. Again, the price rise again uh, and up, again down, after again up and down and like this, right? So basically, this range is continuous like how long it needs but on 12 minute time frame I, I would say that won't continue forever because this impulse is not just such a big like I would say that once again we can touch this uh, wish out these stop losses over here like these stop losses and after move higher once again right uh, and go to this to this area right and from this area we can fall or also have uh, possibly that we will accumulate more longs because here a lot of people like for example they open the long positions to here right they put stop losses everywhere here is all the stop losses right so it's also possible that we once again pump to these levels again people will turn bullish right and put more stop losses will be here so it will be more sharp movements down to wash out again these all stop losses over here. So basically, I mean, scenario is really, I mean, to trade is not difficult right now. Just need to be confident and do proper risk management. Do not trade over the 5% from your deposit. And just to give a probability, because if you will give the probability from higher levels uh, to short, I mean, from the resistance, you will short the market. And from the support, you will long the market. That's all. You will be in the profit. Yes, some of them won't be maybe 
uh, will be in the profit, some of them will fail, but on the long term distance, most likely, of course, the people are shorting from this area, you will be in the profits, right? Just most important, put your stop losses uh, right direction. So I would say that if you're trading on 12 minutes time frame, put if you're uh, shorting the market from this area, I would suggest you to put your stop losses around this area. So we can mark this one as a stop order, stop loss, right? Stop loss over here. And the put stop loss is somewhere 31, 30 over here. Like like this. It's really good to put your stop loss, stop loss here. So uh, basically, as you can see, if you enter from this area around, right? And you will have a win. Let me uh, long the market. For example, you enter from here and close your positions even around this area, right? And make like this. So basically, this is your loss, this is your win. So your win is more than your loss. So if you're going to continue to find out such kind of uh, places, you will be in the profit in the long term because, of course, from the this area, everybody get bullish and most likely we will wash out. And from this area, everybody get bearish and most likely we will have some bounce. So just make it range play and like do not... Uh, do not be scared. Again, if we will retest these levels, this is a really strongest support, right? St strongest resistance, I would say. And here's a lot of stop losses. Can be possibly, I don't know, it, it is there really stop losses or not, but it's possible that there are some, uh, some, some stop losses. It is possible that we will retest this level once again, right? Go some deeper a little bit and after fall. So basically, again, if you short the market from this area, we take this tool again, short the market from this area. You put your stop losses around that one. So your loss is 2%, 2%, 2, like around 2.2%, right? And your win will be like around this area, like three, four, even four, because this fall will happen really massively. So yeah, this is really, really good trade. So uh, actually I gave this signal clearly as I enter over here. I'm not gonna repeat it once again. Here we are, you are welcome to uh, enter my Telegram club and copy trade this. I mean, this is my first trigger. If the price will hit 30,600 over this level, right? right open, the, I will short the market, right? And put my stop losses where I said, I said the stop losses is 31,100, 31,100 around this area like like here right so i would say that this is really good or oh, loss a win uh, loss ratio so it's really good trade and i will take it for sure so and the second trade i made it is a uh, second trade is if the tr if the uh, price will hit 29400 right 400 around this area so if we go to a lower range right i will accumulate the longs and put my stop losses here if i'm gonna fall this scenario will be wrong and something more massively have us uh, going on on the picture right so like this i think uh, i say everything about the market right now uh, again i'm expecting massive fall because this is what is going on here this is some kind of pump i cannot see any impulsive uh, structure except except this moment like here happened some impulse really happened the impulse but before the impulse i mean you must see i mean you shouldn't see such a really correctional action look at this this is you don't need even to be a professional elliot way guy like you can see that here's a b c some kind of right zigzag uh, stuff is going on here so yeah, this is correctional action of the market. So uh, if you like my analysis, if you like my trades, you are welcome to subscribe to my channel, uh, enter my Telegram club, and you are welcome to trade with me. Don't be toxic, just do proper risk management. Do not uh, trade more than you are ready to lose, right? And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section or DM me on the Telegram. I'm always uh, happy to answer each one of your questions and everything. So thank you for watching. Thanks for support and see you next videos. Bye-bye.